Hello YouTube. Today I want to talk about detective fiction. Detective fiction is a marvelous style of fiction, much like westerns, that only existed in a very specific time and very specific place, and then it went away. And it's very sad that it did, because it's a wonderful style. And in my mind, there are two masters of detective fiction. There are many others, of course, but the two masters, in my opinion, are Raymond Chandler and Dashiell Hammett. Dashiell Hammett wrote uh, The Thin Man and The Maltese Falcon, among others, and Raymond Chandler wrote uh, The Big Sleep and The Long Goodbye. And I have here, to aid me in my reviews, the Gimlet Cocktail, Freshly Made Ice Cold, the favorite cocktail of Philip Marlowe, the detective that uh, Raymond Chandler wrote about. Delicious. Now, you may be wondering, I haven't read any detective fiction before. I don't know where to begin. Where should I start? Should I read Raymond Chandler? Should I read Dashiell Hammett? The short answer is you should read both. They're great. They're both great writers. They tell thrilling stories. They have a wonderful use of language. But there is a difference between them, and that's what I want to talk about today. I think that, on the whole, Dashiell Hammett is a better uh, plot writer than Raymond Chandler. His stories really sparkle. They're tightly plotted. They have great characters. Uh, I think that they move to a conclusion in a more satisfying way. And if you're really into action and you're into kind of um, the blunt uh, pulp detective stories that are, don't have a lot of finesse but are really action-packed and fun, Dashiell Hammond is the way to go. That being said, Raymond Chandler is a master of dialogue. He was not only a novelist, he also wrote screenplays. He worked on the screenplay for one of the best film noir movies ever, Double Indemnity. He worked on the screenplay for the Alfred Hitchcock uh, Strangers on a Train, which is one of my favorite Hitchcocks. His dialogue really sparkles, um, and he's the origin of phrases that are like just these those great Pulp Fiction phrases that you don't hear anyone else. Uh, he said, uh, it was a blonde to make a bishop kick a hole in a stained glass window. He said, um, he was about as inconspicuous as a tarantula on a slice of angel food cake. Those kind of really vivid similes and uh, use of language is just unparalleled from Chandler. He's great at that. So from Raymond Chandler... Uh, the Big Sleep was his first novel. It's a complete masterpiece. You should read The Big Sleep. It's wonderful. Uh, in terms of Dashiell Hammett's books, my favorite is also his first novel. It's called Red Harvest. Um, Red Harvest is the story of a private detective who's hired to come into a town that's riddled with organized crime and clean up the place. And he does a much too thorough job. And it's a bloodbath, and it's really over the top, and it's a lot of fun. So Red Harvest by Dashiell Hammett is my recommendation. The Big Sleep by Raymond Chandler. Uh, they each wrote about half a dozen novels, so that's just a starting place. You can read everything they've done. It's great. But I think that's the real difference between the two is that Hammett was a great plot writer. Uh, Chandler was a wonderful writer of dialogue and the use of the language that we so associate with Pulp Fiction. So uh, that would be my recommendations for those. I think Detective Fiction is a great place. If you haven't read any of it, you go back and check some of it out. There's also James and Cade, lots of great other writers in that genre. Um, it's one of my favorites and a lot of fun. Check it out. Um, if you're interested in my writing, you can check out my author link in the description below this video, and uh, I'd appreciate it if you pick up some books. Uh, that's all for today. Have a good one. Check you next time.